Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 16th through the 22nd of July, 2023. I hope everybody's doing well. I am going to take a quick second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Gemini out there, so simply take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. Also, keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that's not unusual in a general reading. So, if you find you're resonating with the other side, just get in where you fit in, guys. As always, don't try to force a reading that's simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Gemini? Gemini. All right, Gemini, you are starting with the King of Pentacles reversed. You have the Empress in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. So you're thinking long term here, Gemini. I do feel like there's a situation that's going on where there's just been a lack of growth. That things just are not um, coming together the way you wanted. I do feel like you've experienced some loss here. Um, you may be receiving some, some guidance from someone. Um, it, this could be a family member or a friend. But I do feel like, um, oh, yeah, and some of you may have lost some money. Some of you are experiencing some financial loss. Um, so you're you're thinking long term with regard to this, and I do feel like you're you're going to you're going to regain whatever you've lost here financially. So that's good. But you may have to go through a period where you you have that loss before it straightens itself out financially. A lot of you are very focused on your money and your abundance right now. But I do see that you are you're also hoping to to have something long term here as far as relationship goes. So let's see who might be in your energy. Show me who's in Gemini's energy. Hmm. All right, the person in your energy, we have the Hierophant, sign of uh, Taurus. We have the Five of Cups. And coming out together is the Two of Cups with the Devil. So somebody here finds you very, very irresistible. Um, you're a temptation for them. Um, with the Two of Cups, there's feelings for sure. But they see you as um, possibly being toxic or that this connection is toxic. And I'm not saying you are. I'm saying this is how this person is viewing you. There's been something here that happened between the two of you that they're very sad about. And they're really looking at that. Uh, things did not go as planned. They thought that things were going to be like very happy and joyful and celebratory. And instead, it's like, um, oh, I just heard someone didn't show up for the party. Yeah, so they're sad right now, and they're looking at everything that's happened. Um, this person is definitely geared towards commitment. I feel like they're trying to settle their energy. They could be um, they could be doing different activities that's going to help them to kind of realign themselves, or they may be um, trying to find guidance. Yeah, this person has this energy of being sad and it's somewhat withdrawn and trying to rebalance themselves because they feel like love has been toxic for them. Let's see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between these two. All right, we have the Page of Cups. Coming out with the Four of Pentacles. So this could be new love for some of you. Um, for others of you, you just want a new beginning with somebody. But this person is, while they're holding on, they're, there's a sense here that they're holding on to the connection. But they're very guarded. They're extremely guarded. Let's see what's affecting this connection. Some of you, um, there could be, you could be reaching out to someone and finding that they're very guarded. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Yeah, so that's divine timing. Um, and there's something karmic about this as well. So, 
you could be in some kind of a toxic cycle, a karmic cycle with somebody. I do feel like there's a stagnancy in the connection, and that's affecting everything. And there's a sense here that while this could have been very abundant, a very beautiful connection, um, possibly with a soulmate, that things have kind of ground to a halt. Things, things took a bad turn somewhere in this connection. Let's look at the outcome at the end of the week. Page of Wands reversed. And the star in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like there's going to be um, some bad news. I'm sorry, Jim and I, but that's what I'm seeing. In that this person it may relate to you that they're just not hopeful about this connection. They feel it's unbalanced. And I do feel like you may withdraw. You may withdraw um, from this person by the end of the week a little bit. I don't see you giving up on this, though. I see, I see that this person feels there's something toxic in this connection. But they're highly tempted to towards this connection as well. Um, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Underlying energy. And that tells me a couple of things, Gemini. It, it reinforces that there's been uh, likely some kind of a financial loss that is coming back. So I wouldn't stress too, too deeply, but I do see a financial loss. Um, but with regard to this connection, I'm seeing that either something ended because of a lack of stability in the connection or this person, for some reason, um, things, like I said, there was a, it's like there's a party here and they expected everything to be happy and joyful, but then nobody showed up for the party. So that would mean that they think that you didn't show up for the party. I see your energy of loss and, and be careful that you don't adopt a poverty mindset with this. So let's clarify this. It looks like there's been some sort of an ending. Now, this person could be already committed to someone else, or they could be entering into a commitment or contemplating a commitment. But they're very tempted towards you. Page of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so there's an offer that's... You're either holding back an offer or you're denying an offer. I don't see you speaking your truth. You're really in a loss energy here. You're feeling it keenly. I don't feel like you're speaking to this person, but you're thinking of reaching out to them and starting something um, with this person. Just know that they're looking for commitment here. And I feel like you're, you're not wanting to offer commitment. There's a sense here of you not speaking your truth and not, not making an offer to this person um, that has any substance, or perhaps they're not offering you anything of substance. Let's see why the Empress is in reverse. Wow. Two of Cups. You both have the Two of Cups. This does look like a soulmate. Queen of Cups. Um, air, or not air, but uh, water sign energy, which would be Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer could also be dealing with another Gemini. Yeah, you you love this person. You have love for this person, but you're kind of keeping a lid on that. And it has to do with that poverty mindset. You're hoping that they'll reach out to you in order to have a new beginning. I do feel that you're you're wanting to offer this person some stability here, though. This is a situation that didn't grow, but it has the ability to. So I don't I don't know what the the holdup is. Somebody's kind of keeping a lid on their their feelings and emotions. They're here. It could be that this other person. When you reach out, they're they're kind of keeping keeping their emotions quiet. They're here though, and I do see this new beginning that wants to come in. And by the way, that's where your money issue kind of resolves itself. 
it's going to resolve itself by you doing something that you love. Justice and the four of coins reversed. You're going to get justice in a situation where, where the loss was. Yeah, so you are going to get a, a justice in your in that situation, especially financially. It's going to um it's going to be in a financial sense, it could have legal, it could be legal implications here. But I see you actually walking out of a financial situation doing extremely well. You might have to give up some in order to get more financially. Now, with regard to this connection, I am seeing that there is a karmic cycle, but the scales are going to balance out here. Um, you have to let go of something, some kind of bad news, something that um, that you considered to be really bad news. You have to release that in order to, to have those scales balanced, Gemini. And once you do, that's when, that's when everything kind of goes in your favor. So if you're in a legal situation, I could definitely see that going in your favor, but you will have to compromise especially if it's financially, but this will also go in your favor with this connection if you're willing to let go of some outdated ideas or something that you've been holding on to, something from the past that you've been holding on to. It's going to balance out if you can release that. And you also have to let your guard down here. So let's look at their energy. Why is the Hierophant here? Could be dealing with a um, Capricorn or, like I said, another Gemini. Could be a Taurus. Why is the Hierophant here? All right, we have the Page of Swords reversed. And we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, this person could be... Um, realigning themselves because they're going through all this sadness right but they want commitment they don't know if they will find that commitment in this connection and so they're really trying to pull back center themselves um like i said some of them could be receiving advice and it would be from someone that's very trusted that they trust and that's going to help them to overcome the sadness that they've been feeling. The sadness, some some of them even a bit of depression. I do see definitely that there's a lack of communication between the two of you. And I feel like for a lot of you, Gemini, you're, you're going to approach this person with an olive branch. Um, some of you, it could be you're hoping that they're going to approach you, but I feel like it's you or are kind of putting out an olive branch here. Why is the five of cups here? But this person doesn't doesn't know. They're holding on to a, a like a grudge or they're holding on to something that happened between the two of you, but they're they're getting past it. They're moving past it. Eight of cups. Oof. So this person feels betrayed. That's why they're feeling so sad. That's why, and, and for some, there's even a sense of depression. It's like um, this person thought everything was going to be really good between the two of you, and then they feel that you walked away from this connection. There was a very painful ending here, and that's what they keep looking at, this painful ending. And they feel betrayed in the connection. Let's look at the bottom energy. They're still very tempted in this in, towards your direction, though. The moon, they don't let you know that. Six of swords reversed. And the four of swords reversed. Yeah, there's definitely been a break in the connection. But they think about you a lot. They, they feel like the energy of the connection is stuck in some kind of toxic energy. That has to do with lies or has to do with not, um, with something being hidden, with things being hidden, secrets being kept. 
and they are going to they are going to relate this to you. There's going to be a discussion about this. So I do feel that they're they feel like they're stuck in a toxic cycle with you. Hmm. They're healing their energy though. They're definitely healing their energy. Some of them are are talking to um, somebody who it, they could be in counseling or they could be talking to a trusted person. They are healing that energy. So let's see the energy between the two of you. Eight of Swords reversed. Ace of Cups. And the King of Wands reversed. Okay, so you're trying to free yourself from all of this energy of loss. But there's a lack of action um, that's that's been taking place. You haven't been speaking your truth. You haven't been um, offering anything in this connection. And that's why this loss occurred. I do see you apologizing for some of you, or if you're not apologizing, you're at least putting out that olive branch because you want to free yourself from this loss and this heavy energy. A lot of you would like to have a new beginning with this person, and I do think that they want a new beginning too, but you're coming through with the Page of Cups. They have the Ace of Cups, and so they may feel that you're just not really offering them anything of substance here. And that's what they're holding on to. They also want to free themselves from this heavy energy, though. You both do. I mean, this looks like a, it could be a beautiful connection. They want, they want love. They want a high level of love. And they feel that you're not taking action towards creating that, that you're you're more geared towards, you know, sexual um, gratification. Queen of Pentacles reversed. The Magician. And the Hierophant in reverse. So what's affecting the connection is that you guys are stuck in this, this loss of what's occurred. They're heavily, heavily stuck in this energy of sadness, of grief, betrayal. It was very painful. So either they walked away or you did. Um, somebody walked away from the connection, though. If they walked away, it was because they felt betrayed here in some manner. And it had to do with walking away from non-committal energy. And there's a cycle here of, of non-commitment. So they're walking away from non-commitment. On your side, I see you manifesting, though. You're manifesting a new beginning. But you feel that this person is holding back from you. I also see you manifesting your money. And it's going to work with the, the money. Um, and it could work with this connection, too. Let's look at your outcome. Because I do see the scales balancing out in your favor, Gemini. Queen of Swords reversed. Ouch. The Hermit. Uh, we're going to have some conflict, though. Yeah, I do see communication. This person is um, going to come across as being angry. They're, they could be very sharp with their words. This It's a very cutting energy. It's because, um, yeah, they're the ones that's really going to be, <laughs> they're not happy with the situation. They feel that they're stuck in a toxic cycle with you. A cycle of, of secrets. I feel like this is someone who is very intuitive. And they do have feelings for you, but they there's a lack of trust here because of what occurred between the two of you. So they're they're not going to come across as being very open to this connection. 
In fact, they're a bit cutting, to be honest with you. Now, on your side, though, I see you kind of looking for answers. Like, when this occurs, when this this communication occurs, I feel like uh, you, you're going to take it as being really bad news because you're trying to plan for the long term. There's compromise that needs to be needs to take place here for the scales to balance out. So there's something you have to compromise with this person. And I feel like once this conflict occurs, it's going to put you in hermit mode. You're going to pull your energy back. There's going to be a lack of communication, but you're trying to you're trying to put it right. So you're looking for answers. What is the right thing to do? What is the just thing to do? I do think you're going to get angry and then you're going to pull your energy back and then you're going to go into this contemplative mode about how to how to let go of things that are not necessary that could be keeping the two of you apart. If you're able to compromise with this person, I do feel like things will balance out. You are definitely manifesting a new beginning with this person. And I do think that it's it's very favorable that you are kind of offering that olive branch. But I don't think it's going to be well received, at least initially. It, it's going to cause imbalance with this person, and they're going to be rather hostile, to be honest with you. At the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. So that is underlying energy. It does show that there are secrets that are being kept, and that's what's preventing this Ace of Pentacles. It's preventing this new beginning, a stable new beginning between you and this person. So there's an obstacle here that has to be compromised upon, and it has to do with commitment. It has to do with commitment because there's definitely love here, and your person is holding on to whatever occurred between the two of you. Even though both of you want to release yourself from that energy, it's here. So, let's get an oracle card and see if there's anything. Yeah, look at that. You have number 11. That's a, um, that's a God number, by the way. And it's called Balancing Act. <laughs> So it's going to be tricky. This is going to be a tricky negotiation. But if you're able to release something here and negotiate this out, I think that it's there is a possibility of this coming through. But it's going to be tricky. Let's. Uh, I'm going to pull that up and we'll see what it says. You are calm within, no matter the fluctuation of outer conditions. There are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and it feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance and then restore equilibrium. Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. You'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused, and level path. Yeah. So there's something you have to you have to negotiate out and you have to you have to be able to let some things go in order to get the 10 of pentacles, okay? So it's about finding that correct balance in your life. All right, Gemini, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have resonated with this reading, please hit that like button and also um, if you haven't subscribed, it costs you nothing to do so, and I would be very appreciative. Until I see you guys in your next weekly reading, namaste.